Yamaha Turbo Tour Custom in Mellow Yellow. Uh, 87 or 88. I think it was only available two years. The 86 catalog actually shows it, but I think it was an 87 model. Um, the Mellow Yellow was only available in the turbos. Not the Power or just the Tour Custom. Uh, we have Birch and Mahogany swap ply shells. Uh, later on this kit became the Rock Tour Custom. We have 10 by 10 12 by 12 13 by 13 14 by 14 just up over the other side we have a 15 by 15 mounted low 16 by 16 floor tom 16 by 18 18 by 22 inch kick and then 18 by 24 kick now i know that's totally 70s ludwig mismatched kicks uh ginger baker kind of thing but actually uh i bought the you know, piecemeal, I've popped parts here and there. Um, so the 18 by 24 is my original. I bought an 18 by 22 later on. Um, but there is a reasoning behind it setting up together. Um, I do still have, over there in the corner, you can see it, uh, an 18 by 24 uh, in the black, piano black. Um, so if somebody's got mellow yellow and they want to swap for a 22 or 24, I'm down. Got one sitting right here. It's pretty scuffed, but I was thinking about repainting it, but that's quite a bit of money. I also have another uh, 16 by 18 floor tom. Uh, some Nimrod decided to put yes on this kit. So you see that little patch there is covering up two drill holes. On the 10 and 12 and the 16 they did it. See this? That's what happens when you don't look at all the pictures. Well, it wasn't. there was no picture of it. Um, but when you look at blurry pictures and you don't ask for more information on something when you buy it on eBay. Uh, I got to split through the top layers. Um, and when I asked the guy about it, all of a sudden it turned into, I'm selling it for a friend. So, um, shame on me. Um, didn't happen on the 10 and the 16 does have a little bit, not a crack, but, uh, you know, it was mounted up with that ES hardware stuff too. I put the original, uh, legs off that 18 that I got over there. So, um, I want to mount the 16. I'd have to do a rim style cause I'm not drilling into the shell. Mount the 16 up on a stand with the 15 over the floor toms and do 18 18 floor toms um, but then I got to build a six inch which they never made and I'm still hunting for an eight so I'd like to make this into an octa plus two 18 by 24s just make this the monster kit I've said it before and when you look at this it's like oh that's a Tony Williams yellow Gretsch <laughs> you know so I give Gretsch their due everybody knocked you know did knockoffs of their lugs and all that stuff. You know, some people say slingy lugs, but these look like Gritch to me. And the yellow. Tama did it with their Star Classics when they first came out in Pearl with the Master Series. You know, so. At any rate, um, getting behind the kit. I'll show you what I got going on with the bass drum. So, 18 by 22 with a double on it, and 18 by 24 with a double on it. This whole little weird mishmash stands. Get down here lower so you can see. I got tension rods going everywhere. I got a an old uh, DW5000 built lefty back here, and then a 7000 built regular style. So the idea is not so much to play doubles on both. I could have just done it with a slave pedal on the left one. So 18 by 22. You know, you can get your doubles going. Get a little bit more metal. But then when I want to switch over and get more bonamy, you know, um, I can get, you know, on the 18 by 24 and get this going from two. Just power, so. So I can do doubles on that too, even though it's this is very sloppy. So you get the idea. Um, Zildjian cymbals, except for the little Wuhan. Uh, Zildjian um, New Beat Hi-Hats 13. Wuhan 12. Uh, China Splash, I guess. 18-inch 60s A Zildjian Crash Ride. 16-inch um, Medium Thin Crash. 10-inch Fast Splash. 10-inch Regular Splash. 18-inch Medium Thin Crash. 16 inch oriental china trash 21 inch rock ride and lp black beauty using my brother's tama 
six and a half by fourteen uh, Rockstar snare drum. I don't have a whole lot of six and a half, so I got a lot of old vintage ones. And usually I use the uh, Supra with this five by fourteen. He's got die cast on the top of this. Um, got it tuned up pretty good. Uh, fits with this kit. My brother also uses this kit for rehearsal. I play bass in the band. He plays drums in the band. So uh, I'm going to mount this up in the stand so you can see what it sounds like. Um, we usually don't play it in this configuration. Usually it's played 10, 12, 13 with a floating 15 floor tom or, you know, 10, 12, 14, 16. Um, some some kind of conglomeration there, always with the 18 by 22. I like the 18 by 24 set bottom style, 14, 16, 18. Throwing a lot of numbers at you. Add them all up. <laughs> so anyway, let's get this going. I guess it'll be take three on me playing drums and not screwing up. So I'm getting tired of saying the same things. <laughs> All right. So, 10 inch tom. That was a lot of tune, but I'm not going to screw with it right now. 12 by 12. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Get my sticks on each other. I'm not used to playing on the left. Sixteen. Eighteen. Every once in a while I'll switch over to the 18 by 24 so you can get a difference between the 